Hello, everyone. New information on a story the Channel 4 investigators have been following for several weeks, a story that's had many of you talking. Squatters have been taking advantage of an obscure law that lets them move into an abandoned home for free and take the home over just by paying the property taxes. Now we're hearing from one man who is accused of taking over a home illegally. Marcellus Dunbar says he took over homes to help the homeless, but Clay County investigators have charged him with burglary and grand theft. They say he moved into a home on Eagle Landing Parkway in a golf club community of Middleburg. Records show he also took over a home on Sunset Landing Drive on Jacksonville's north side, but no charges have been filed in that case. Channel 4 investigator Jim Pickett is joining us live to tell us what Dunbar and his lawyer had to say at a court appearance. Jim? Tom, every time we've tried to talk to Dunbar, he's always been running from us, hiding from us, even threatening to shoot us at one time. But now, outside of court, he had plenty to say. John Reginald Estelle Jr. appearing on behalf of Mr. Marcellus Dunbar. In court, we got a good look at Marcellus Dunbar as his lawyer entered a not guilty plea of charges of burglary and grand theft. Quite a different look from last September when we watched as he covered his head and avoided our questions about why he was in this house. Investigators and neighbors and the man who bought this house said Dunbar was squatting. Dunbar said he filed paperwork for adverse possession, which allows people who pay taxes on abandoned property to take it over. I do believe that the media has been unfair throughout this whole ordeal. Uh, my integrity has been questioned. A, Marcellus Dunbar is not a home thief. I can absolutely purchase a property. Uh, I'm in a position to where I can purchase that property as well as any property I choose to do so. Dunbar will have his chance in court to explain why he didn't break into the house and why he says he followed the law. What he did was proper. He did not know that the home was sold at the time he had done it. No paperwork had been filed. Everything he saw of record was appropriate for him to take the action that he took. Cases of adverse possession like this continue to grow in our area. There are now 27 cases alone in Duval County, one of the latest filed at this house on Cathedral Oaks in the San Jose area. But we have noticed something new. Not only are beautiful mansions and estates being targeted, but now some older rundown homes like this one near the stadium are being taken over. Though in each case today, we found paperwork filed, but no one living on the property. Property appraiser Jim Overton says it's a new phenomenon for us. He says the law was never intended to be used like this. The legislature needs to go at this and, uh, and, and simplify the law and make it so that it, do, it cannot apply to people squatting in houses. You know, I also checked with the state attorney's office. I understand that they are investigating, looking at these different cases of adverse possession. It's not only Dunbar, and they want to see exactly what's going on. And everyone I talked to today agrees that this is something that the legislature is going to have to address. We're live downtown, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Jim, did authorities tell you why this particular case, in their view, rise to the level of burglary and grand theft? This is one that they were watching from the beginning on that. You know, we were focusing on this as well. Plus, there were some threats made by Dunbar at one time, and police were involved with that. And the neighborhood in this group, actually, they became very concerned and also were calling police as well. Jim Pickett reporting to us live. Thank you, Jim.